we're just nicely framing the window here. So we are here, we are live, and we are just continuing on this good old ship. The mystical ship. We got some nice tunes on in the background. And we're just framing in a window. using some good old granny grid from the dollar store to make our kind of window pieces here and we also have am I without volume is that what you're saying I'm also live on YouTube so all right um, we're gonna be putting this door in right in there now let's pop these bad boys off and we're going to be adding this door in there to complete that. So let's pop that piece off there. We're going to get these doors in. But before we do that, we're going to need to put um, our little wire, wire handles on. So get that so I'm just going to curl this around and make a little handle there we go there's a little same way that we made the other um, dungeon hole I can hear you clearly oh perfect um, yeah, we're just continuing on our little bill. I'm getting the captain's quarters doors in. Getting a little handle on to match the other one there. Um, and you gotta grab that like that. And then, of course, just stick it in roughly the same spot as the other one to try and match. Perfect. All right. What do I use for paint? I use um, uh, I just use full card paint. Uh, so I do a base coat with Mod Podge, and then um, oh sorry about that. Um, base coat with Mod Podge, and then I just go in with uh, just regular craft full card paint. So yeah. All right, so I'm just creating these little things to do our kind of like our axle a bit. Um, and I actually probably should like pilot the holes with a different toothpick. There we go. Hey, thanks for the follow. Um, we're just going to pilot these holes where we're going to put our little pegs, which is what's going to be what's turning the door it's going to be hinged on these little spikies so what did I do with that other one ah and let's just pilot that a little deeper there we go flip it around So now we're going to get this door and we're just going to pop it in here and I think we decided the best way was just to like lift up the foam and squeeze it in. There we go. Working quarter doors. Get into the captain's quarters doors. They're chunky but I think they're fun. 
So, all right. So that's the captain's quarters doors there. Um, what are we looking at now? That's good. Uh, we should probably do the other knots on this side. So let's do that. Put the other cannon hole notches. I'm gonna flip the ship around. And just like the one we did before, we cut some notches in here. So, right above that. And there we go. Now we can cut off this top piece here and reuse it for the cap of this area here. There we go. Perfect size. Hello, mom life whore. We are just coming along. This is a gigantic project. There is a lot of detail that we're going for here. A lot of, it's also just huge. So lots of fun with this one. There we go. Cannon fodder. Um, how did I, how did I get into miniatures? Well, my wife said casually one day, two and a half years ago, hey, let's play some D&D. And of course I was like, oh my gosh, yes. So I got the books, uh, I read up and there was like theater of the mind or miniatures. So I was like, oh my gosh, I looked at all of what people were making on the internet with miniatures and I was like, I've got to try it. $15 at the dollar store and here we are. <laughs> so. We've come quite a ways. Um, how I got so good, I just always had an artistic background um, and I just love trying things. So yeah, that's, I just love trying things. Um, see worthy in the bathtub. So much detail. Oh, thank you. So much detail. So we were testing around in the last live stream with putting a little sail thing. How long have you been working on the ship? Well, it's been a couple weeks now. Um, I, I had to uh, take care of some personal matters uh, last week, so I wasn't doing much at all on it. So it's been about one solid week of work on this guy. Um, but I think what I'm going to do now is I want to do the stairs down into the hull there. So for this area here I'm gonna have like drop stairs I think yeah so fit let's figure that out so this pops off just like that and let's put this there and you know what this is gonna be a fun piece to put next to uh, skull island here um, which is just a little Dice Tower I 3D printed, but it's also going to be like, you know, Skull Island. You could do something fun piratey with that, you know? So, do you do individual boards for the decks or carve them into large sections? Either way, it looks great. Uh, no, I did all individual boards, so they're all just little strips of, of styrofoam like this laid down. The structure is based out, um, um, just kind of like, yeah, structured out. And then I just laid on, laid all down on top. So let's get some um, stairs going. Now I think I want to do like a stair stringer style for this one. So I'm gonna grab uh, a piece here, and this is actually that's a piece I like to use for my steps. So we're gonna leave that. Um, let's see if I can find one for. Uh, this is also. Okay, so we want a sturdy structure for it, but we don't want it this thick. We're going to want it a bit thinner. So um, I'm going to just shave it down to more of like a thick piece of wood size. And then we're going to cut our stair stringer off of it. So this is, if you know anything about carpentry, I was like, I actually had to make stairs for my deck. So 
um, I learned how to I learned how and what stair strainers were so um, basically I think I'm probably just going to do a straight up 45 degree cadence to them and that's a little bit off there that off so what's the name of the ship um, the sweet Anne redemption <laughs> um, I don't know if I've really come up with a name for it yet but Actually, 45 degree might not be steep enough. I wanted like you want a kind of a nice steep set of stairs down to your down into your hull. So now we can all we can see the height of this to the next level is just it's like one and three quarters inch but then we also have to consider that we've got another half inch there so I'm gonna do what two and a quarter for the height so I'm just gonna go based off the mat here right now it's set three here but I'm gonna do two and a quarter for the height so two and a quarter for the height there we go and then you can kind of go based off of up over, up, over. Something like that, maybe? It's kind of. Well, we'll see. It's just foam. We can always do anything we want. So, let us get to it now. So let's just start cutting out some stairs here. And I don't know if I got the cadence bang on, but we'll see what happens. Might be a little steep off the hop. I'm not sure. But they are steep stairs. You want nice steep stairs. Set of stairs. If you get it right, you can use the flip side of them. You know, we could also use a ladder too if we really wanted to get fussy with it. And these are going to get covered up anyway, so there's kind of our stringer that's going to go down. And now we've kind of got the flip side. I don't know if it's going to line up properly. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Shocks. I was like, but we can always just go like this. I like the unevenness. I don't do the crazy mathematical things for all of it. You just have fun. Woo! And even when I snap it off, good for me. That's all right though. We can just pop that back. We'll just glue that back on. It'd probably actually be stronger if I glued it. Man, I'm really tearing this thing up. Alright, let's see what we can do about it. These are rickety old pieces of stairs. from Florida. Hello, Florida. Right back. 
Sorry about that. All right. Okay. So we've got our stair stringers. Now let's pop this just back on. Excellent. Can open up a little grid there. And see. That's our stair set. Now I'm going to put supports on this so that it can hold up, but I think it's going to be good. I think I kind of got a good sense for the height there. Now we'll just do a quick measure on the box just to see. We want to make the stairs two and a half, two and a half inches. So, did I say two and a half? I meant one and a half. Okay, so then we're going to grab our little strip of plank wood, but I think I actually want thicker plank wood because it's going to be, we're going to want to ha have it hold some sustenance, sustenance, have us hold hold some sustenance. Um, we want it to, uh, yeah, we want it to be structural. So let's cut this up into one and a half inch planks for each stair. Beauty of just using that mat. There we go. Get a few good chunks out of this one. Get one more. Sure, one of the steps is broken. I love it. All right, we're gonna need more, but um, this should get us enough to like hold the structural structure of it. Um, did I see your comment? Probably not. Sorry. Uh, I'm here. Really nice that you also make it on your YouTube channel. Yeah, it's live on my YouTube channel. So if you are afraid that you missed anything on the TikTok, I'm live on TikTok and YouTube right now. So I post the videos um, of the live streams up on YouTube. So if you ever miss them, you can get them. All right, I'm just texturing up the stringers here. And I only need to do one side because uh, only one side shows. So just give them a little bit of texture. And that'll tell me which side goes on which. And I'm just going to put a little dab of glue on the top of each one. And these are the right size. It's a little bit of overhang. Perfect. There we go. Thanks for the share. All right, so let's do the same for the top. So we start to get a bit of a structural hold on it. There we go. All right, I like I like how steep they are. I feel like they feel good. Let's do one in the middle. I think I might only be one. Oh no, I might I might have just have enough. This is going to be our stairs into the hull. I am making the ship that came out of my brain. I have no idea. It's, uh, should you use a ship? You can use this ship on any of your campaigns. No restriction. There we go. It's feeling sturdier already. going to go right into there. Nice. The Wailing Ghost. Sure. Hey, thanks for the follow. Alright, so we need one more just for the very, very top. And I'm just going to use this. going to cut it at an inch and a half. And then also trim it down a little bit. And that's just going to be the last step there. All right, now we're going to have to start attaching this thing to the ground. Now, the thing is I can't attach to the 
top of the staircase or to the the top deck because they're separated. So um, can't do that. That's going to go in there, but we definitely want that to line up. So we're going to have to figure out how we're going to get those. How we're going to mark that so that that lines up. That's actually looking really good there. You can see we got all these cans in the way, but that stair is lining up nicely. You can see there, right down into the hull. So I think I'm going to grab my pencil. We're going to try and mark where the stairs begin. And when we pop this off, Woo. Put that over there. Now where will we mark with our pencil there? Which apparently I can't see anymore. Oh, right there. Bingo bongo bongo. So we can just tack this down and see. Just a little dab just to see. We're going to have to add more supports later, but a little dab just to see if we're on the right trail there. And we'll add supports underneath that. Oh, I don't, well, it might float. It definitely, I mean, it definitely would float. I don't know if it would float upright, but the whole thing's made out of styrofoam, so styrofoam floats. Um, all right, so then those click in there. And it just, I think we're going to have to prop it up just a touch. Because it's, it's coming in. I mean, it's, it's right on cue for me. But we're going to want just a little bit up. So, I think it's good. We just want to keep it nice and up. So we're going to grab... We're going to grab some of this jazz and we just cut it straight over. There we go. And probably not as wide, but what angle did we go for that? Let's see here. right in there and we can trim that a little bit but we do want that to push just a little bit up maybe not that much but trim it off. so we're gonna make two of those one for each side and that's gonna get our stairs nice and secure there we go Right. Well, I might be pushing, we might have to just trim these both down just a little bit. <laughs> Bunch of rowdy, rowdy bards hop on the ship, roll for initiative, absolutely. We got some nice medieval mandolin going on behind me here keeping things nice and chill i want to put on some like sea shanties maybe that's a you know by uh sea shanties of you know black flag all right so i think these are ready to get in there we just got to texture them up so all we're going to do is take our hot wire and uh hey it's geek chaos to watch on TikTok, the angle and setup is so also great. Yeah, it's a lot easier to watch on YouTube. But um, hi from France, hello. So are we are live on uh, YouTube as well as TikTok right now. So you, uh, if you're missing any of the live, you can always go and check out my YouTube channel and get up to date on what's happening. There we go, and you can. I'm just gonna texture both sides for kicks, and that's gonna go under there. There we go. 
All right, so those are two pieces textured. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. I'm, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with actually how it all turned out for just like, I mean, I'm totally winging this thing. So it is, uh, it's completely wong. Right. Yeah, we're getting the supports for this thing. So that it is not crazy flying all over the place stairs. And I don't want them breaking off, so just blowing on the little supports we made. Cool. All right, nice and secure. Let's see how that winds up with the stairs now. So close. Does it need a little bit? It is pushing up. It's so close. I think I'll be able to warp it on. There we go. There we go. Stairs poking right up. I might need to just push that one up just a little bit so that you can open up the hatch and go down. Um, oh, thank you so much. Right, let's pop that back up. Let's see what we can do about it. Anyway, we're just going to take these masks off. They're just magnetic. And then we need to just push this up just a little bit. That's drying. I'm gonna put the deck back on. Let's see about getting that lined up there, and then letting it dry in place. Maybe that'll work better. From live to live, yeah, it's 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 fun watching the whole project. Project. Yeah. There we go. Then we put those back on. All right, so we got the stairs. We got that. Um, I was thinking um, these windows back here. So we had played around with some um, kind of some of this de detail work. I don't know if YouTube you can see that. Um, what's the this? I did have a big break. Sorry, just looking at the U uh, YouTube comments there. Nate's miniatures. Um, I did take a big break. Um, just life life happened to me. Um, but we're back, so uh, glue the steps. No, I didn't glue the steps to the hatch because um, this whole piece comes off. So don't want to glue the stairs down because every place is playable. So these windows here. So I had just tacked this on here. So what I had done with this was actually just some beads that I found, and I wanted to make kind of that ornate piratey window look. And I was like, how do I get that without like three printing something? So I came up with this, found some beads, and made these little, this little window thing here. Um, and it's just wax paper and some grid. But I might use the granny grid that I had because I don't have to, uh, I don't have to um, put any wax paper behind it or anything. You can just leave it like that. So that's what I'm going to use here. So. Yeah, um, and then we've got, of course, our our captain's doors, which are now working. I could use pretzels, I bet. Yeah, oh, well, that's interesting. I hadn't thought to use pretzels, but... All right, so I've got to find some of these beads here. So... Um, it's all styrofoam if you're wondering what I'm making this with. It is all just XBS foam. Styrofoam. So there's some beads. I think I need four of those 
kind of oblong ones, and I'm just trolling around for some here. And I think I put them over in this container. Yep, yeah, all right, so this is just a mishmash of some beads here. And I was just using these rolled up paper beads. So let's grab those. And I think, what do I need? I need one, two, I need four windows. One, two, three, four. I think it's four, yeah. Four windows, on the back at least. So I need like a bunch of these. Hopefully I have enough of them. If not, we'll, we'll figure something out. So there's two windows. Uh, we already have a third. We just need four. Um, just a couple of these light blue beads for the corners and I thought this was a fun idea people are like oh you just 3d print I've got 3d printers but I like to uh, make things you know it, I mean it takes a bunch of time to um, do them and not everyone has a 3d printer so I like to come up with ways that um, People can, you know, you can buy some dollar store beads and make some ornate pirate windows if you wanted to. Um, I just need four more and we can start gluing these down. And one more. And I actually think the result is pretty cool. All right. Um, I could also sculpt that as something, yeah. Um, yeah, it is the same. So my YouTube, everything. I've got, I've got Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, the, the website, Fantasy Forge Miniatures. You bet. I'm currently pulling FDM supports of a build. I sculpted it, and it is not fun. Mm. Hey, I feel that pulling, pulling. That stuff is not fun. That is not fun. All right, so. I'm gonna be popping out, popping out this window here because I want to do something else with this one. Because I already painted this one gold just to see what the whole like look would look like. So we're gonna repurpose these. I don't want to use the wax paper and the grid on this one. I want to use the granny grid because we were using it on the doors and it's just a little easier. So I'm just gonna quickly those off and then we all oh, we want to just mark out let's grab a marker oh. Oops. mark mark out mark out the window size we want there we go my YouTube isn't loading right now oh bummer well I'm live on there so we're going to just mark there. I think that will be a good spot either there or there. And then we can go down. Actually, we'll let the beads kind of dictate some of that width because, I mean, just, yeah. Let's grab some scissors here. Still my camera here. Okay. And we got lots of this, so there we go. Okay, so we kind of got this window size. Let's see. Yeah. And we could glue it to the outside of it. Or glue it right onto it. I think probably right onto it would be, be good. It is thicker though, so maybe onto the edge wouldn't be bad. Okay. 
So let's clean this up then. We'll give it a whirl. There we go. Clean up that edge so we get a nice winter flame. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, okay, so let's just start gluing these onto there. And I don't know how far down we'll make it. It might be a squared off window, we'll see. Alright. I mean, worst comes to worst, we could go back to our other method wax paper. There we go. Kind of looks silly right now, but I think it's going to look good. I mean, we already did our little test there, and I think it looked pretty cool. Hello from Texas. Parked in the dark. What's up? It didn't work. Oh, bummer. Sorry, the YouTube. Well, the video will be alive on YouTube. I'll put. I post the videos after the the live uh, so if you miss anything on TikTok um, or on YouTube you can always go back because I post them so there we go and then I think I might just trim this to match the length of it there we go something as soon as it works. Thanks so much. Where do you buy the phone for the boat? Uh, literally just a hardware store. Oh, um, hardware store has XPS foam. So you get big sheets of just, it's like, it's insulation foam. So that's it. There's nothing, it's not special foam or anything. Not much, but I love your videos. I recently subbed. I can't wait to start making trees. I have no idea what no idea they can be so easy. Yeah. Uh, mine one well, said you could make your own shit. Need to make your own name. Oh, with the, yeah. Yeah, the sawdust stuff walking is another cheap method. Um, and yeah, you can honestly, um, that's why I tell people it's, it's very, it's, it can be a very inexpensive hobby if you get creative with it. So, um, I'm pumped for you. I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right, so that's our window, and it's too fat. It's too fat for our thing. Might have to bring these in, roll them in, and maybe it would fit then. Fun. We're just messing around, so. We're just messing around. So we could, I think we can get away with bringing these in a little bit. And then having those fit anyway. Yeah, I think that works. And we'll inset them a little bit. So, all we have to do is roll these, roll these in a little bit to our granite grid. And I think they should be fine. And honestly, I think we can just bend them in. There we go. There's our window. Friction fit. 
fun. All right. Let's see here. Let's grab some more. Oops. Last one. See here, it's one, two, three, four, five wide. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And I think it was squared off. Five, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, oh, shit, it's fucking epic. What are you using for windows? And those... Yeah, the resin is much easier. Um, what I'm using for these windows is just beads, and I'm using some uh, granny grid that I found at the uh, dollar store. So. Pretty straightforward materials, and I think actually I'm going to shave off this one side so that we can just glue to the very outside of it. So that Ooh, flipping things around. There we go. Just gonna glue these beads on the outside of the granny grid. dollar store yep exactly you would die if you had a dollar store game because you can get everything to craft at the dollar store drink <laughs> all right work with me here it's a little tricky getting it to stick to the very edge but we're making it work it's a galleon it's a galleon place for us all to connect with each other. Absolutely. I love the community behind miniatures and uh, I love getting to know other uh, miniature crafters and just people in general too. Um, but I love hearing about how people are making things. Love, I love it. Yeah. They're looking very organic, let's say. These are handcrafted windows that we're putting on this ship. So it's a very expensive pirate. What all have I done? It's been a while. What all have I done? Well, it depends on when you're coming in. We've done lots of stuff but I'm live on YouTube right now if you want to get a funner fun wide angle of the entire situation going on nice uh, big creators in there let me know if you want to join that that's awesome oh thank you well of course I want to join that sounds great I love joining communities, especially crafting communities. I enjoy popping in and watching. Hey, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate that uh, sound bite. All right. I think we got. Oh, we got two more left. Okay. We're we're figuring out a rhythm for these though, so I'm good. Two, three, four, five. 
And I'm going to do a little bit of a strip there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. Goodness, maybe that. All right. Let's trim those off a bit. And then we go one, two, three, four. There we go. And we made an extra one. wide because trim those off there we go whatever I did for the mask looks great ah yeah actually this was interesting I made a jig made a little circle jig so I just cut out of um, I cut out a cardstock um, oh I ran out of film oh, okay um, I cut out a cardstock to uh, circles of different sizes and I attached them onto either end of a piece of styrofoam and then I took it onto my hot wire table. So I just stuck stuck one end one size and the other end the other size and then the wire won't cut through that so it butts up against it and makes a nice taper. And then you can use this one, this, oh, sorry, the smaller one for the next piece. Um, and then you just make a smaller one onto it and eventually you get a nice taper uh, to your poles. And then I glued them together and then I put like just like a metal banding is what it's supposed to look like to kind of cover up the seam. I got it actually so the seam was pretty much gone anyway uh, with the texturing. Um, but uh, you know, here's an example of one. And then I just used toothpicks to hold the mask together. So you gotta be careful it can get a little wonky, but I mean it's styrofoam, you can just kind of bend it into place, so. Anyway, yeah, worked out well. Um, so, oh yeah, um, I'll, I'll message you later, Nate's miniatures. Um, I have a, I have um, Fantasy Forge miniatures um, Discord, so I have connections on there, and there'd be a way to give me that. That'd be sweet. Cut no, it doesn't cut through cardboard. No, um, uh, not that thick. It's it's cardstock, so it's pretty thick. Um, and I don't even I don't even think like straight up cardboard. It couldn't do that. It's a, uh, it's not it's not a very uh, aggressive hot wire. So you might singe it, but yeah, it doesn't cut through. Oh, apparently not. Oh, for the back mask, I think a triangle sail looks better than a square. Um, yeah, so off the back here, I'm going to do a um, an angled angled piece. So I got to add a jig out here, and it's going to be kind of a sideways. It's going to be fun, and then it's going to come right over the, the deck area. fast we can crank these windows out. Nice. Um, well the masks are detachable so I thought that would be good enough. So you could actually put the sails on um, individually or um, so you could actually put them on there, and I, I actually kind of want to make them, like, give them a little bit of a bow. Um, but if you want the, yeah, combat visibility, then you can just pop these off and play without. But if you want the effect, and depends on, maybe I'd have this one detachable, or we'll see. I don't know, maybe, because we have, like, we have this thing here. So... Yeah, maybe, I don't know, and, like, I mean, honestly, you could bunch it up like this right and just tie it up with some tie it up with some things here and maybe that would be better have the sails have the sails all wrapped up I don't know we'll see help the resume 
Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we've got some options there. Side beads here. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of repetition, a lot of finicky work, but the result is what makes it all worth it. Come on, stay with me. There we go. I like to imagine what masterpiece you have made in the end. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for this thing to be done just so that I can see it in all of its glory. Um, sorry, just looking at message you're barking there. Are those magnets? That's cool. It is magnets, yeah. Um, uh, is this an encounter I'm thinking of playing? Absolutely. Um, definitely have some things in mind. But I like to come up. I almost sometimes I like to let the pieces of um, of work dictate the encounter. So if I come up like, I mean the crystal altar was just kind of made up out of my head, right? So here's a there's the crystal altar for you, um, and the floating crystal. It was just fun to make, um, but then uh, the encounters you can put around that um, would be really cool as well. You know, so it. Um, it's kind of like letting the piece uh, dictate the encounter. So, yeah. How did I get the crystal to float? Well, I have a YouTube tutorial on how to exactly how to get that to float, but long story short, the chains are rigid. That takes some of the mystery and puzzle puzzle wow puzzle wow out of it. No ability monitoring something. Just really good to let it speak to me. Exactly. Oh, cool, the altar is so cool. That's how you found my channel. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you let your piece speak to you. That's awesome. I love it. You're going to go to my YouTube. Amazing. Well, you can also follow the, the stream there as well. I am streaming live on YouTube as well as on TikTok. So if you're worried that you missed out on the live, it will be posted on my YouTube. So... There we go. Almost done, our four windows. There we go. And those are going to go right um, back here. And the captain's quarters all along the back of the ship for the captain to look out. Um, I also let some makes it more fun. Exactly right. Two galleons must have three. Oh gosh. Oh, YouTube stupid on your phone. Bummer. Um, do you have any how-to on painting gemstones? I have a base for a dragon that the crystal and I am a noob. Well, okay, so for crystal stuff like this, easiest, super easy. All I did was paint it with Folk Art Purple Flash. That's it. That's all you got. I got some fun new colors I want to try. From, again, I love Folk Art. Folk Art's my jam. Um, I have this Dragonfly Glaze, so I'm curious to see what that does, as well as this Glow in the Dark Folk Art stuff. So I think this could be fun for some portal jazz and some nighttime or maybe, I don't know, there's could be a bunch of things, maybe some ghostly lanterns. So 
Got some fun stuff happening for that one. And I think, I was actually just thinking, what if the eye, like, this is just fun because I have my skull here. And it's like, it's like, oh, it's like literally could have Skull Island, you know? Um, could be fun to have that right there. So, um, yeah. Do you have any idea? Oh, sorry. Just read that. Um, but yeah. So Skull Island, we've got some other like weird destinations people could end up at. Um, and you know, we could always put just, we could put our dragon on top of the mast. You can't see that. The dragon right on top. A dragon comes onto your ship. We could have all kinds of fun things happen with this ship. Um, how do I measure the curve? Great question. Um, I will be posting um, just like the whole thing of how I made the ship. But it's basically I just started out with just the top kind of thing. And I 50 50 it with a piece of paper that I made into a template. Um, but uh, yeah. Okay, so. Um, so my camera is full. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, call it here, but let's just tack these on there because, um, I'm, rec so I'm live streaming on TikTok and on YouTube, but I also am recording so that I can make a final video of how to make this ship. Um, so that's kind of it, but we've got, we've got the windows that are going to go in the back there and let's throw in, the, throw on on here. So you can see how that's going to look pretty, pretty cool. I'm liking that. Um, but yeah, and then we got the, our cannon holes that we're finishing up there. Um, cannon holes, we got our steps in. And let's just see how that's working. Let's flip this around. We've got working doors. So we got those finished up for the captain's quarters. And we've got the hoe with the stairs now in the center so that works and that fits perfectly sweet um and gonna figure out something to do for the for the stem of it but we've got some figurines that i have printed we've got a captain still got to figure out what i got to do for a wheel for the uh the steering wheel um that's gonna be fun but uh Instagram so I can message you on the link there. Yeah, uh, Instagram would be great. That'd be great. Thank you for the paint tip. Absolutely. That's the name of the one-eyed wheelie ship. <laughs> the Inferno. Nice. I love your work. I'm so inspired to start many projects. Oh, awesome. I can't wait to see them. How long does it take you to make smaller things? Oh, yeah. This one's, this is an epic build. Like, this is nuts. Um, this is massive for me. Um, you know, ones like this like the crystal altar take maybe a a day or two well no two days yeah one day to make one day to paint and finish up so shorter times like that ones like the um the wizard tower which i'll grab here um take more like a week or so yeah pretty much a week um we're doing show and tell time now um a week to do this guy uh so this one, yeah, and then this one has like the detachable pieces. There we go. Um, so fun pieces of terrain. <laughs> you know, yeah, it all comes apart so that you can play it. And I actually want to have it so you could just play it with a base rune like that. Um, you could um, uh, play it with, you know, second level. It's to help, help with visibility. But then I want to make um, these, so right now this is kind of like a wizard top to the piece here. But what I want to do is actually have it exchangeable for maybe like a um, like a fortified tower top. So you can have like more of a watchtower vibe. This is the wizardy kind of wizardy vibe to the um, to the piece with the floating crystal. That's actually this, whoa, inspiration for um, the, flo the floating crystal altar. But uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, so this was a piece, oh, what was I thinking of? Um, but yeah, like I said, this one took a week. Some other ones take 
longer or shorter depending basically on size and complexity but um, and you know like how much of it is it organic to like how much wood like the wood texture takes a lot the bricks go up pretty quick um, so like some a guy like this see if I can bring him over so something like this what do you use to seal uh, your paint when you're finished actually these are unsealed and I know that's a bad idea uh, but they're unsealed what you can do is um, and I'm gonna test it out uh, is actually just a Mod Podge clear mat um, you got to be careful with this stuff with styrofoam but I believe if it is like uh, if the if your seal coat and your paint coat is enough you can actually seal it with uh, a coat of this but be careful because uh, aerosol will erode your styrofoam so going back to minecraft get in there son uh gotta have a lighthouse for the ship totally keep up the good work thank you so much um there you go me sent hey thank you so much i appreciate that link um but like i said yeah like ones like this that have interiors and the different pieces um, how do you measure the curve to the roof? I didn't understand from your YouTube video. Um, honestly, you start with the gable. So when you're doing the curve of your roof, uh, you're going to structure out the piece. You know, typically it would just be a straight triangle, but all you have to do is just cut that curve and then make sure the other side matches it. And then when you lay in your, you know, your roof back panel, um, it will, you just make sure you press it right into the curve and you get the curve. So the triangle, the end, is kind of that dictates the profile. So this piece is what you have to focus on for creating that um, angled roof piece. So, um, where do you get the tiny magnets? Just uh, Amazon. Uh, they come in just these big packs for very cheap. Um, and you can just pop them on anywhere you want. I've got a couple of variant sizes so that, you know, for the masts like this, you want a bigger, bigger magnet because you know, you don't want that flopping around, so. But, uh, is it hard to make those? Is it hard to make? Uh, no, uh, it's time consuming. I, I wouldn't say it's hard. Um, it's just time consuming. So, literally a piece is dictated by how much time. Like, I mean, cutting and sticking in toothpicks for railings is not hard. It's tedious, but it's not hard. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, I wouldn't say, excuse me, I wouldn't say it's difficult. And even painting, if you watch any of my painting videos on YouTube, you'll see um, that it, it's actually not complex to, uh, to paint. It's all in the texturing that the painting comes into play. The shingles. Uh, it's all foam, so all of this is foam except for the stonework. So the stonework here is actually I sculpted this out of um, uh, plaster, and I made a cast out of it for the stonework. But you can still use styrofoam. I use styrofoam for the bricks here on on the chimney here. That's all just styrofoam bricks. I have a YouTube tutorial on how to actually make um, any of the uh, all the bricks. Actually, on how to texture everything and how to like build a structure. But yeah. So, um, think layers, mate. Keep building on those layers to get what you want. Yeah, totally. Layers. Layers of details, finer the details. Because you'll see when I'm building these structures and on my YouTube tutorial on like how to like structure a build, how to make a house, I show you the techniques of like you structure it out. You get just a basic structure for your build and then you add the texture on and then you add the paint on and then you add those final details. and as you keep doing that it keeps getting deeper and deeper like i could paint this stucco white and be done because stucco is white right or off-white or whatever you want but the thing is you add in some color variation you get more depth you add more color variation depth you add weathering you add all, all these different techniques and you get more and more depth so that is just some tips. I love these questions though. If you've got any more questions, keep them coming. Um, I can keep showing you pieces. Um, so I'll show you my first one. So someone was asking about um, someone was asking about uh, roof angles and stuff. Um, and uh, 
yeah, you can see here, um, this is just with a straight angle. So to get the curve, all you have to do is just put an angle into, like just put a curve into there. But this is the first build I ever made, so no interior. Uh, these are sh like these are cereal box shingles. Um, I couldn't cut an even curve on the gable. Okay, well, okay, so a trick that you can do is, here's a trick uh, for getting the curve of a gable right. So all you do is just take just a piece of, well, a piece of paper or a piece of cardstock, and you would just fold it in half and um, grab your scissors and just literally you could just like, you just cut a curve into it. Um, and you know, wh however steep you want. So this is looking a little, um, actually, you just open it up. That's not bad. It's a little uh, shallow of a pitch. Um, I like mine with steeper, higher pitches. So you can go. And what, what the key, one of the things to just notice is you can keep it uh, fairly even at the top. So fairly straight and then go more aggressive on the bottom half of the curve. So as you're coming into it, let's see here, going down. And as you come right to the end, you kind of just start to speed that curve up and you'll get a nice pitch to your roof. Then you can open this up and you can use this on both gables uh, for your roof. And even, even this is kind of, you know. But this would give you a visual of like what you want to see rather than just starting to cut up foam. So this is definitely a way that you could uh, help with the pitch of your roof and stuff. Um, also just a fun thing that I got, uh, finally got from Green World stuff is this uh, leaf, leaf punches. So I really want to, um, so it's just like a, it's just a punch and it makes tiny leaves and you can actually punch leaves, actual leaves and get these tiny little leaves. And I can't wait to make like trees and ground litter with this. Um, so it's going to be a pile of fun. Um, but yeah, if you guys keep these questions coming, I love answering them. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm unable to continue working on the, uh, on the, um, ship right now because I want to keep recording but uh, it takes a while to dump uh, once I've been recording for a while but this is my first build right here so do you always mix the Mod Podge with black paint um, traditionally yes um, a gr like a great way like for this boat though I'm not I'm gonna be mixing with dark brown still like not brown because it, I always want my base coat to be very dark um, you want it to seep into the areas and you don't want to Light colors in shallow areas will draw attention to them, and you don't want to do that. So you want to have a very dark base coat. Uh, black is good, but you can use dark brown depending on what you're wanting. Because the ship is like almost 100% wood, I am going to go with the uh, brown because uh, typically you base coat it after that. Um, but ones for like this, like the house here, I would not be um, base coating in brown because... You've got, oh, I mean, you could, but you got stucco, you got blue, you got brown. It's got, it's very mixed colors, whereas the ship is very one color. I use Black Magic's formula for coating XPS. That's great. Yeah, he is a great resource. Um, for sure. And I was like, I use, it's a very similar formula. I mean, I don't measure things out, honestly. Um, I use Mod, like, I use Mod Podge and I put enough paint in the Mod Podge to make it uh to make it the color i want so anyway yeah this is the first build i ever made this is with the uh steel brush for the texturing um and uh yeah steel 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 brush to texture here uh i think it was even this one he's pretty mangled right now but you just scrape it along but you can see here it gives you a realistic look but if you compare these two just the wood the way the wood reads from afar I like the cartoon. I love like the character you get out of it. Can we get a tour of your village if you have it set up? I don't have it set up right now. Um, I have it all around my room. It's all it's all back up on the shelves and random pieces all over the place. <laughs> so yeah, can you show the ship? Um, do you video for the painting Mod Podge? Make sure I'm actually making a video for the um, for base coating. So that is coming. I don't have one yet. Um, but I want to get to all of like the, um, yeah, the classics, uh, classic pieces of 
getting your build together. Um, so, okay, you want to show off the ship here? Here it is. Um, I do have past videos of the full village on the thing. Um, hooray! Yes, yeah, I'll be getting that. So this is the ship here. I've got some just random menus here. I've got to get painted up. Um, we have the mass, both removable. Um, and then we have cannons, which are going to go here and here. They are 3D printed. We're going to have to build them. We've got a, a working hatch, the toothpick and paper hinge. And that comes down here to the uh, captain's quarters here. So you can pop that off. It's fine. We're getting windows put in there. We have working doors. So the working captain's doors. We just hinge with little toothpicks. And uh, that's fun. So we can put that back on. And then you can actually pop the whole hull up and off. And you can see there we've got an entire interior. interior. We've got the stairs where the uh, hatch comes down. And we've got a bit of work to do down here. I want to put some little hammocks for the sailors and that kind of stuff. And uh, will the ship have a monkey? We shall see. Right now it's an undead ship. So all the pirates um, are dead. So here's a little, here's one of the little ghost guys. Here's one of the little captain, captain skeleton thing. So we'll see about the monkey. But uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the ship. We've got our little holes. We've got to get little uh, hatches for them. Uh, we were playing around with the idea of like cheese cloth sails. Um, this might hinder, I mean, you can actually see through this pretty well, but we might just roll it up. I might end up just doing the classic like sails are all up and then we can, you know, grab a little bit of this dollar store twine and let's just see what this looks like actually. Um, you know, you can kind of cinch them up so like they're put away or whatever. And actually, whoops, I don't, I don't hate that. And then have those there, and then we'll put the like the twine rope all over the place. But uh, is the monkey named Jack? It can definitely be Jack. Um, so we've got sails and stuff that we're trying out for that one. And cool, I make my own too. Oh, whoops. Oh, washes. Oh, sorry. I missed the conversation. Oh, they're too expensive to use. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So using washes. Um, I've also got a video out on that. Or, sorry, getting a video out on that. But I have found these, like, sweet little spray bottles at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I actually found a 2.0 version, so they're actually bigger. Same kind of misting idea, which is great for doing large, detailed washes with your own formula. You can just spray this stuff on and it is great for doing that and like there's a cheap version and there's an expensive version well i can't expensive um there's liquitex flow aid additive so it just helps the ink which is also the other thing um i have just regular like fountain black ink and then i have liquitex raw sienna for a brown wash so i haven't watched your videos just saw your channel but we'll watch after the stream <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm getting more stuff out on just kind of some of these basic stuffs. And then also recording the build of this entire ship so I can put a video for this epic build. Um, you can get about a hundred of those little bottles on Amazon for cheap. Yeah, you can get them exactly. You can get them from Amazon or you can get them from the dollar store or wherever you want to get them. But it's literally just uh, Flowaid ink and a bunch of water. Uh, what I actually do is I make it concentrate and then I put it into these little bottles so that when I want to use it, uh, I can be consistent. I just put a little bit in the spray bottle, add the water in, and then um, I don't have to keep constantly measuring or whatever. Uh, so that's just how I do it. Easier way to do it. Um, yeah, but you can also just use dishwater and paint. Literally just black paint or dishwater. Uh, oh, sorry, dishwater. Dish soap, black paint, and water. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with uh, how this build's come together, and I'm excited to get all, like, the ropes and the ties off and things. So, all I'm using for my rope is I just found this twine. Again, should take a sh someone said it should be a drinking game that um, every time I say the dollar store. But this is just twine from the dollar store, and, yeah, I use dishwater, right? <laughs> 
um, you just unravel the cord a little bit and you can see you get this nice rope thickness. So this would obviously be way too thick to be doing any kind of uh, rope work, but if you just untwine um, a nice good section of this rope, you uh, this is great for doing any kind of like rope stuff. I was doing some lashing for an orc little outpost. I was trying out this technique is where I was experimenting. So let's see here. There we go. So we got this nice just single strand of cordage and that actually looks that looks good and you can tie that off. Um, and I'll show you here. Um, just some pieces. So I so here's a little thing with the cheesecloth. This is popsicles, cheesecloth, and toothpicks. And uh, and then the dollar store twine that we just kind of wrapped around. And it gets this great kind of lashed, lashing effect. So I'm excited to get all of this like lashing stuff into the build for the, like the final detail pieces of it. Um, but yeah, if you guys got any questions, always feel, uh, keep, keep asking them. Um, but yeah. So that's literally it, just dollar store twine for rope. And I'm gonna use that all over the place. And there was also, well, let's see here. I had found this stuff, I think this is for rug making. I found this at, I think I found this on Amazon. But this mesh is kind of, it's got a very rope look to it. Um, so what I wanna do with this is, um, you know, create the mast to you know the rope up to the crow's nest um, and I, I might have to like bunch it or something or figure something out for it but um, this again was just some cheap material that I found I think like I said it's for like rug hooking I think is what it's for um, but yeah that's good like netting um, and then of course we got to get a crow's nest on this thing so lots of like I said lots of new techniques that I'm trying out with this this ship model um, and, uh, you know, hey, just for kicks here, I'll show you one. This is one I was trying out. So this was a build for like, kind of like a portal. And I'll show you here. Um, yeah, these are some effects that I was trying. So actually inside of here, I strung LED, like little fairy lights all in there. And I can actually even turn it on and they will glow when the lights are off. And, uh, yeah, so this is one that I was like, meh, like, I don't know if I 100% love it, and I can, let me just turn off some lights here so that you can maybe see, whoops, sorry about that, maybe you can see the effect a little bit better, um, and I can also show you some other parts of the build thing. So you are starting to see it a little bit there, where I have... And let's get this last light. Sorry about that. So there you go. There's the glowing portal. Um, I was trying this out. But I wasn't a real big fan of how this turned out. It kind of looked more like a, I don't know, fluffy moon rather than this like crazy glowing portal. But um, yeah, I kind of gave up on it. I, yeah, I definitely could flock it and add some other stuff. But... Um, I kind of gave up on it. Um, just wasn't super pumped with how it was turning out. Like I wanted it to be more menacing. And so this even turned out to be, um, this is literally just some hot glue on wire, kind of wrapped around and then painted on. And I already like this portal a lot better. Looks like a Stargate. Yeah, could to totally be a Stargate. Um, uh, oh, yeah. The teaser portal and created a further one. Yeah, um, a Skylander portal. I get a lot. Yeah, but it's literally just hot glue. So this is just hot glue here, uh, hot glue on a wire wrapping around there. So it was a fun experiment. I even have an LED that I can like attach a battery in there so it glows in there. Um, but again, cheap, cheap effects for doing it. And it had more of the effects. So uh, like I said, wasn't super stoked on this, this one, but... Um, while I have all the lights dimmed, I'm going to grab this guy and I'll show you. This is, this is always just fun to, uh, to show. Um, so 
So I have these little tea candles that you can pop on. And let's see, do I have some other ones here? like nobody's nobody's home let's see turn a little bit away. there you go oops but uh yeah so those those are just fun little effects that you can have with just um yeah, turn it off again with the with just like a tea candle and um a wax paper windows and love the drawings oh thank you yeah the roofs are uh uh, really fun. I'm totally, geez, I'm totally taking this. Oh, well, thanks. Um, but yeah, wax paper windows and then tea candles on the inside will give you the effect. Obviously, when you, um, you know, when you play on in the interior, you would have to take them out of your build. But I'm working on, I've got some wiring stuff because I'll give you guys a little hint here on this one. I want to have little ghost lanterns. So I want to have little flickering LEDs. I have the little LEDs and I want to wire up the ship so that it has little flickering um, lanterns around that. You need a silhouette in the window. Yeah, for sure. I was like, well, hold on, let's try something. Let's try taking, where's my little dude? You want a silhouette in the window, huh? Let's see what we can do for that. If we put the light behind him, we put a dude in there. Does that, does that qualify? That kind of looks like a silhouette. <laughs> a little bit. Wax paper is doing a good job of deforming. <laughs> Ghost land would be cool. Yeah, so, anywho. Don't forget. But, um, I'm gonna flip those lights back on. And yeah, anyway, so those are some fun little effects that you can have. Very cheap. These are all just a, I mean, dollar store tea candles. So I love, I love cheap effects. And you can also get those fairy lights uh, for super cheap there too, if you want to mess around with some different effects on that one. But yeah, so like I said, I gotta dump my camera uh, for my. Um, pirate ship so that I can keep recording because I don't want to do work on it and not record it and then um, because I'm documenting the whole thing I'm gonna make one giant video of the entire ship build so that's gonna be that's gonna be fun there we go but yeah how long does it take you to make something on average? Usually like two, something like this, two weeks. Two weeks uh, is kind of average. You know, some like the altar take two days. Um, just because they're like organic carving, they go real quick. But something where there's a lot of texturing, like all the shingles, that takes a lot longer. Um, Kiki Drawings, hello, hello. You're over there. Oh, you're on both places. Is there a name for the little sign? Um, I haven't put a name on it yet. I actually want to have this like removable so that you can like hang different signs if you want it to be an apothecary or library or whatever you want. Um, but it doesn't have a name yet. It was just the magical bookshop. Um, yeah. So anyway, we've made some great progress on the ship. I believe we've got the doors in. We've got the stairs down to the hull. Um, We've got the stairs up there. We got cannon holes cut. We've got all the windows made for the back of the um, for the back of the uh, of the boat. Um, but yeah. So anyway, guys, I think this is where we're gonna call it. Um, I've got to go dump my camera for the YouTube. Um, dump all the footage that I've been taking as I've been building this. Um, I don't sell my work. Uh, unfortunately, the amount of time it takes to build this stuff would make it astronomical to buy. So, um, what did it say he used for the windows again? He used Granny Grid, but it's called Plastic Embroidery Sheet. Again, dollar store. 
I, I use that for the windows. But you can also use wax paper and um, uh, drywall tape is a great grid option. But yeah, see you later. <laughs> hey, no worries. We had a good time here. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and uh, check me out on YouTube. I got lots of stuff if you're interested on how to build this. Got a bunch of tutorial videos and I got more coming. Working on, I'm literally working on some more right now. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate all of you. And as always, keep on crafting. Thanks for watching, guys.